are EU regulations responsible for the R5 overheating warnings? Let's look into it. Following on from the first test done by No Life Channel, although some have repeated the results, others cannot. This puzzle has still to unravel fully. But one other forum user, Delphonic, thinks he may have found the underlying issue. He believes the difference re results people could be seeing are down to whether a film in PAL or NTSC. This story has been picked up by Canon News and Canon Rumours and myself. It still requires no card in the camera to achieve the four hours, so it's not all down to the PAL setting. But the PAL setting is responsible for the varying results that people see when trying to replicate the test. So why would these modes impact on the overheating warning? Apparently, Europe, where the PAL system is predominantly used, they are implementing new rules on safe handling temperatures for electronic goods. These rules will impact all cameras sold in the EU, so Sony, Fuji and others may also need to implement a safe cutoff limit, just like it appears Canon have done in the R5 and R6. Many users remark the camera remains cool to touch when it shuts down, so it increasingly looks like Canon might have set these limits too aggressively, and possibly too early in adopting the new rules. Personally, I fully understand what drives these new rules, as many electronic devices get too hot. This can cause what's known as low temperature burns, where prolonged holding of warm items can cause underlying damage to the skin. Low temperatures in the range of 40 to 50 degrees centigrade, 104 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit can cause these burns. We've all felt phones in our pockets that get so uncomfortably hot you have to remove them. Studies in Japan and elsewhere have found low temperature burns from consumer products like cell phones, underfloor heating and even heated toilet seats are responsible for long term lesions under the skin. I'm not wishing to make a scare story out of this, but it seems low temperature burns are bad because we are unaware of the underlying damage they cause. The items don't get hot enough to make you pull away and seek treatment, so damage can go untreated for years. We still await an official response from Canon on this issue, and we don't have an answer to the forced two hour wait time before the mode can be used again. Is this an artificial limit? No Limit suspects if you turn the camera on and off again when the warning first appears, you can continue, but if you allow it to shut down, the two hour wait period kicks in. One thing is certain, it's not the last of this overheating story. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Rumour Has It for news updates and informed opinion.